in this topic we are continuing to discuss the constraints that are on international performance management process in comparison to the domestic performance management process and in this topic we are going to talk about one of the constraints which is separation by time and distance uh you know that a uh, multinational organization that is spread all over the world dispersed in various countries and boundaries therefore they are separated by two um uh, temporal dimension uh, two dimensions one is the temporal dimension and the other one is the geographical dimension so they are geographically di di dispersed and they are also separated by time uh, uh being geographically dispersed uh is it 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 means that they are separated by time but a uh, time difference also adds another dimension and that is that it just doesn't uh, take some time to travel from one part of the world to the other rather at the same time both the uh, 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 the units in one part of the world and in another part of the world may be facing a different time and that may be a day time in japan and when it is day time in japan that is going to be a uh, night time uh, in europe and in america so that means that uh, it's not just the distance it's also the difference between the time which separates them and creates a problem for uh, uh, the international management and therefore international um, performance management uh, so uh, the importance of physical proximity is always there uh, if uh, you are physically close if you are geographically close that it has a lot of advantages uh, then the the dimensions of distance being physically or being uh, away in proximity Uh, they have a number of dimensions one is the physical distance that you are physically away secondly time to time zone distances uh, thirdly uh, because you are at a distance the frequency of contact that is limited so that means that because because you are physically at a distance it would lead to uh, uh, freak, it would lead to a lesser frequency of contact and then finally the uh dimension of being physically separated that uh, trickles down into the cost of the reporting system because if you are physically separated it becomes it, the cost of reporting that goes up high if you are present uh, at the same place uh, it is possible that a subordinate just gets up from his desk and goes to his boss's office and reports a particular problem or a discrepancy or an issue or something that has been done and the reporting takes place and therefore there is no cost to it but if a person is sitting in japan and the other uh, manager is sitting in america well that means that a system has to be set up so either it is has to be a telephonic system or it has to be the internet system the person has to be provided with a computer the other person has also has to be provided with the computer so when this thing goes global it means that the reporting of people um thousands of people working in one multinational when they have to report between each other that means that the cost of reporting that would go exponentially high so uh, that means that being connected with a uh, people who are geographically dispersed that has a number of costs that has a number of constraints which also affects how your performance management uh, system it works uh, so for example if the performance of a person who is working in pakistan has to be evaluated by somebody in working in uk how that person is going to do that that person will not be able to observe that person will only have to uh, rely on data which is provided to him uh either which is uh you know uh, which is compiled by the person himself or it is compiled by some reporting system of the organization or it is compiled by the immediate supervisor and then so the person who is sitting in uk 
will not be able to observe and see and be able to look anything beyond the data which is provided provided to him uh, so that is an important uh, dimension which affects international performance management process uh, that has led to a growing use of web based human resource information systems so you know that human resource information systems they collect information they collect data uh, in electronic form and that data is present uh, and is available at various different places dispersed all over the world uh, this is basically driven by growing complexity and inherent uncertainty of the global performance so in order to reduce this complexity in order to reduce this uncertainty uh, because performance is being measured in various different parts of the world so these human resource information systems they try to integrate the performance criteria as well as the performance evaluation uh, system of people working in different parts of the world but there are challenges with these human resource information systems because if uh, the uh, if there are uh, unspoken or ill articulated roles processes practices criteria and purposes then these human resource information systems cannot do anything so it is the humans who have to feed and develop these systems these criteria these objectives these purposes to these systems and then these systems they can help you to evaluate in an integrated way but if you do not set out your objectives you do not clearly define your criteria you do not clearly define the purpose of um, of uh, evaluating performance which must have the dimension of being locally relevant and globally comparable the these human resource information systems will not be able to help you so the uh, the constraint of being geographically dispersed uh, it may be reduced by these uh, information systems but still the human resource uh, managers uh, and strategy makers they have to make sure that these systems they are given the right criteria the right logarithms to uh, uh, to perform uh, their functions on